How's it going, guys? And welcome back to BL3's Forgotten, the series where I take a look at unused and not often talked about pieces of gear to determine whether or not they deserve to be remembered within the modern meta of the game or should be left behind and forgotten. And today we are taking a look at the Pricker. If you'd like to pick up the Pricker for yourself, you're going to fast travel over to Sanctuary and make your way over to Marcus's area where you can pick up the side quest Claw and Order. This is a pretty simple side quest, simply run around Sanctuary, helping Marcus attempt to collect collect dirt on the goodest little lad in the universe, at the end of which you will give him a lovely gift and you will get the Pricker. The Pricker is a unique purple rarity Hyperion SMG with completely locked parts, meaning it only rolls in radiation and cannot roll with anointments. The Pricker consumes two ammo per shot and fires slow moving bolts that deal radiation splash damage. These bolts will stick to the target and once five are stuck in, they will explode again dealing radiation splash damage. The Pricker also has no front facing shield. Now back in the day, when the Pricker was originally added, I honestly really loved this gun. It was actually surprisingly decent and wasn't hurt too badly by the lack of an anointment just due to the scaling at the time, but even back then it could definitely be felt that it would have been much better had it ever been able to roll with an anointment. Unfortunately though, as time has gone on and the game has changed, it has just fallen off incredibly heavily. The explosions almost actually had some decent damage against squishier enemies, but to be fair, that was when I was playing Moe's. For the most part, it was pretty worthless at True Guardian Takedown, and man, it barely even held up on Athenus. And this obviously brings up the question of the ammo cost, because it's just high for no real reason. The damage this thing outputs isn't anywhere close to being good enough for two ammo per shot, and it doesn't do anything else that would warrant it either. A weapon having slow moving projectiles are also pretty much just always annoying. It's slightly better here since they home in, but really I would prefer no homing for faster projectile speed. But really, even with that, what it comes down to is that the Pricker just needs more damage, like at minimum double the damage that it currently has. But again, I do also think that those homing projectiles are kind of unnecessary, so those could also probably go in favor of having higher damage if need be. What I would want to keep though is having most of the damage being loaded into those stacked explosions, as I do think it creates a pretty unique play pattern and helps it stand out a little bit more. And speaking of standing out, that's just part of why I really like this gun, and I do really like this gun. Again, it's unique and it's just really fun, and I do do remember those times back in the day when it was actually a really decent option, I just loved running it even though it couldn't roll an anointment. Stacking those needles to get that cool explosion was just really damn enjoyable, and on top of that, it fills a niche that doesn't really exist in Hyperion SMGs being a splash damage Hyperion SMG, with the only other one being the proprietary license, but even then the splash damage isn't really the focus of that gun and it's only a part of its main gimmick. As I often do though with the unanointable weapons, I did throw an anointment on it just to see how it is, and honestly, it kind of didn't feel much different. To an impressive degree, honestly. The Pricker just does not currently mesh with the endgame of BL3, and its damage is most likely to blame here. Overall though, I love everything about the Pricker except for using the Pricker. It's a really fun gun, it has a very unique and very enjoyable gimmick, it's just completely unusable even at the easiest content in the endgame of BL3. That being said, while it's not good at the endgame, I do enjoy picking this up during a playthrough, and I highly recommend you give it a go if you get the chance. That way, at least maybe a couple other people will understand where I'm coming from and I don't just sound like a fucking crazy person babbling about a dog shit weapon that I just like for some reason. But that's gonna about do it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, definitely consider leaving a like, comment, subscribe, all that. Down in the description will be a link to my Twitch channel where you can follow to be notified of when I go live, and just below that is a link to my Discord server where you can come and join and hang out. But with that all being said, I hope to see you guys in the next one.